there are a great many what are called myths that surround the uh, immigration question. I don't like the term myth because it sounds to me like you're putting it down. But I, I think we could call them stories or ideas. And a lot of them center around Emma Lazarus and her famous poem. Em Emma was, uh, the when the Statue of Liberty was built in Dode in the United States, there was no place to put it and there was no funds to build a base for it. And Joseph Pulitzer, the publisher, thought this was a crying shame and he organized a campaign mainly by school kids in the country who sent in their dimes and nickels and arranged to have the base for it built on Bedloe's Island, I guess it is, in the Ark Harbor. And Emma Lazarus, as part of this campaign, wrote this poem. And the poem was not noted at the time and was pretty much lost from view for 20 or 25 years. And it was finally rediscovered and brought to prominence. And it's now on a plaque stapled to the inside of the statue, of the base of the Statue of Liberty. I argue that it's probably the most single potent piece of prose that was ever written in the United States, even more so than the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence considering the effect that it's had on the country in terms of numbers of people that have been admitted in its wake. Uh, and we're not done with that yet. So well, many, many families have a story that they're, that's tied to immigration, how their forebears came here. I mean, my father was a Canadian immigrant. My mother's family came out from Germany in the 1850s after the revolutions of 1848. And Whenever people start telling these stories, I celebrate with them the wonders of it. But I ask them then, how does that relate to their answers to the three basic questions? Because your great-great-grandfather came from Germany, does that mean there should be no limits on who should come now? Well, nobody says that. Does that mean we should pay no attention to who comes? Should we admit Nazi, former Nazis to the citizens of the United States? No, we don't want to do that. And it doesn't tell you anything about how to enforce the rules. So these are wonderful stories, but they're sort of a side thing to the basic question is which is deciding on the immigration policy that will is sustainable at the present time. So those are some of the myths, but also the stories that almost every family has because all of us are the children of immigrants, even the so called Native Americans who, as far as we know, came across the Bering Strait twenty five thousand years ago. So we all have this almost everybody has got roots that were somewhere else.